here, and he's up first. Right. Also, my friend and mentor, Jonathan Kozel, who I adore, who is an advocate. For Next up from Dawson's Creek, Joshua Jackson. Plays Pacey on the hit WB show Dawson's Creek. This season premiere is tomorrow night, and here's a little sneak peek for you. Before we leave, though, there is one other thing we should cover. What's that? Well, they're gonna ask. Who's gonna ask what? The masses. They're gonna ask what happened on the boat. Somewhere between you and I, you know, sexually speaking. <laughs> no one cares, Pacey. Okay, maybe they care, but they're not going to ask. It's too crass. Well, we live in a crass age. <laughs> okay, so what are you going to say? That really depends. On? On what you're going to say. Well, I guess I'm going to say nothing because it's no one's business. That's good. Nothing sounds perfect. Please welcome back to the show, Joshua Jackson. <laughs> I'm really good. Good How to see you. you. I like your new haircut. Thank you. It's nice and short. It's air conditioning for the summer. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Did you have to ask permission to get a haircut? I was supposed to ask permission to get a haircut, but I did not ask permission. I'm still young, so I think I'm allowed youthful rebellion, yeah? I think you're right. I think Because so. I remember when Felicity... It was a big deal. ...cut her hair. It was like a scandal. And uh, see, that was kind of my point, is I think it's silly to blame any show's success or failure based on a haircut. So I thought that maybe I'd cut my hair and hopefully the show will be successful and... I'll prove my point then, of course, if we fail, then I prove their point, haven't I? Exactly, but I don't, I don't think it's going to fail. I, don't. I hope not. Can you give us a hint what happened on the boat? Well, I think you're just going to have to watch tomorrow night. Oh, that, that, a little hanky It was a good summer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How are things going over there? Uh, they're going pretty well. Yeah. You know, we, I, got, I get to work with Katie now, and we, uh, we have this young romance, which is fabulous. Right. And... Uh, you know, it just it makes it so much fun for me working with her because I never really got to work with her before and we're plodding along into our fourth season. And it feels, you know, this year it's funny. Well, you know, on the show we're in our last year and we're, it's high school and we're finishing off. So it's really, you know, every day it's like, just so happy to be down here with you guys. And right. I don't know what's going to happen, but I just love you guys. Right. So. Now next year, are you going to... You got Nobody knows. That's see, are they going to do what they did with Beverly Hills 90210? They're like 40 and they're still in high school. You know? Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I hope they don't do that. I hope they don't do that too. And then there's also this whole strike thing that might happen. So we may, it, this may, so this might be the swan song. So, if, you know, hopefully we have a great season this year and that's yeah. what everybody's working for. Yeah, I hope that you do. Have you seen your big billboards here in New York City? We have, yeah. Every time I leave North Carolina, I'm assaulted with my own face. No, yeah. Well, I guess it's really the back of my head. You know, I'm, I'm moody. No, yeah, it is a little bit of that. It's, and it's the profile. Yeah, it's of, yeah, yeah. That means I'm contemplative or something like that. Yeah, yeah. But that must be weird to go down, you know, 23 years old, look up and see your it big is, face. Well, it's, it was more bizarre. I was in, I traveled all over Europe this summer. Oh, did you? And yeah, I, went, I go over with my friend Kion. We're riding the metro, the subway system in, in Paris. Yeah. And on the other trains, you know, going 35 miles an hour past you is my face. <laughs> right, right. Because uh, Skulls was coming out over there oh, at right. that time. And it was bizarre. You know, I mean, being in Poland and seeing Skulls posters was bizarre. Yeah. It's strange. a little strange. It is strange. Have you ever been on a movie and one of your movies is playing? Yes. 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 What do you, you do then? Well, actually, you take as many people as you can possibly cram into a theater. <laughs> I, in, at one time, when I was in my hometown, in Vancouver, I had I worked on a little film called Digger, which was a local film, and then one of the Mighty Ducks movies came out, and then something was out at the same time, so I owned three theaters in my ho my hometown theater, which was about as cool as it gets. Yeah, yeah. It's like that's just me. It's in there. Exactly. It's all me. <laughs> yeah, I I was uh, once on a plane, which is what I was trying to say, but I made a mistake, oh. and my movie came on because I thought, why didn't he pick up the plane part? Maybe because I didn't say it. Uh, I'm in an airplane. <laughs> when you're on an airplane, you don't know oh, it, and they go, oh, the oh. movie for today is gold. You know. Uh, I've never been on a, on a movie with my... But you know, the, I, did I ever tell you the first time I met you was on a plane? I told you that. Yeah, yeah with, the, with the Mighty with, Ducks and Emilio, right? With Emilio, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I love Emilio. Me too. The nicest guy. Yeah, he is. Next to my Tommy. I try, yeah, well, yeah. I'm not A, hey, I'm not saying anything I'm about not Tommy, saying either, I'm just saying. a good guy. Now, is it true what I read about a break-in, something with your car? Or is that all... Yes, well, the bad news is, is that the first day I got home back to Vancouver, I did get ripped off. I went you out did. to breakfast with some friends of mine, and in the time it took me to sit down and realize that I should brush my teeth to, you know 
keep these friends, someone broke into the back of my truck and took everything that I owned. Now that was bad, that was a very depressing day in Josh's life, but the upshot to that was I left a couple days later for Europe and a couple of my friends came to meet up with me in Germany and when they came they had all my baby pictures and my journal were stolen which was not a good thing. And then uh, they came over with my journal and said that someone had returned my baby pictures in my journal. So honor amongst thieves. So whoever did it, if it was the people who stole it or somebody who found it, thank you so much for returning my yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's really nice though, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Because you'd think your journal, that could be... Well, did you ever worry that would end up in the tabloids? My journal could be bad, but also my parents are divorced and I don't have any of the negatives. My father took all the negatives. Oh, so to get, right. I couldn't, I would have lost all my baby photos. So yeah. that was a big deal. Especially I don't have very mom. many baby photos either. Yeah, it's tough. You it's, know who has some of my neighbors? I, it's weird, but like Jackie, my friend from across the street, her mom has more pictures of me when I was little than I do. <laughs> I don't know why that is. My parents didn't invest in cameras, I guess. Seventeen magazine, you're in it this month, and you're talking a lot about uh, voting. Yes. And how important it is to get kids your age to get out there and vote. I think so. You know, I think especially, not only, you just should vote, you should, we should all just vote. Because it's a democracy, and we only, you know, our voices are only heard if we make them heard. But especially at a time in history when voter turnout is at an all-time low, if any segment of the population, i.e. us kids, turn out and vote, we can sway the vote in one way or the other. So, you know, if, you, if the reason that you don't vote is because you think, well, you know, one, one man, one vote, I can't make any difference. Well, now you can make a difference. Definitely. So I think we should all get out there. So all you young kids get together, read the issues, and see what it is you believe in. Women and mothers, women and mothers, we are swing voters too. You're a mom and you vote. Get out there and be heard. Thank you very much for being here, Joshua. For it's lovely to see you as usual. <laughs> Joshua Jackson, watch him on Dawson's Creek tomorrow, season premiere on the WB. We'll be back right after this with Regis Philbin.